Are you ready to follow a proven trading strategy? Do you want to own the strongest index, hottest sectors, and bond ETFs only when they provide an opportunity for growth? Now you can with the Total ETF Portfolio Trade Alert Newsletter. Follow our long-term investment positions, active index, and bond trades, and own the hottest sector ETFs during stock market rallies. Visit www.thetechnicaltraders.com to learn more. It's the Trader Tip of the Week, and I'm Chris Vermeulen with this week's Trader Tip. Now, if we take a look at the charts, there's an interesting opportunity starting to come about with the bond market. Now, most people have been fleeing from bonds, panicking about the massive sell-off. Now, this goes back to um, late 2018. You can see we had a huge rally, a bull market in bonds. We had the COVID huge pop and drop, and then more or less a topping phase. And now we've been in this multi-leg bear market for the bond market. Now, overall, they have been out of favor. Most people have had masks, mass exodus from bonds this year. If we zoom into the more recent price action, we can see here that we've got a very significant bottoming type formation starting to form here. And we are on the verge of, I think, a breakout that will be a fairly significant run. Now, this blue box here is the distance from this previous high down to this low. And usually in a basing formation like this, when you don't have a really clear bull flag pattern to work from, you can take the depth of the base and stack it on the breakout level to get an idea where the upside target is. Now you can see it's up here around 131. We have a previous significant high over here in the consolidation at uh, 132 or 133. So there's some pretty good upside potential if this was to pop in break. I think a lot of people are, are going to be caught off guard when they see bonds rally. In fact, bonds have potential from where they are right now to rally about 9 to potentially 11% to the upside. Uh, 10, 10 or 9 or 10% is kind of the safe call here. Um, it's going to run into resistance as we get to the upper end of this box and this resistance area. Now, if we go back in time, we can see the last time it came down, built a basing formation, and then broke out. This blue box is the depth of this base, just like I did over here, the depth of this base. You stack it on top. You can see it ran up, it hit that target, ended up peaking above it uh, several times, and then eventually kind of stalled out and then went into a consolidation phase before breaking down to another bear market leg down. So we have a very similar scenario unfolding here. We could see bonds actually come back into favor. A lot of people are going to be kicking themselves because most people got out of bonds investors down here. This is right where everyone panicked. This type of sell-off, if we just zoom into this price action, um, if you've been trading a, a long time, you can see how it sells off and then it starts to pick up speed and we start to get these surges to a low and to new lows. And, and this is usually when the masses are exiting positions, meaning most investors panicked out of bonds right here. And now bonds are, I think, are going to take off and start to move higher. And they will have sold out near the low. And then they're going to want to get back in probably as bonds start to top out at this level. They'll hit that threshold 10% gain. They'll be kicking themselves. This is how the market uh, shakes people up and really makes them pull their hair out. <laughs> so that's kind of where we are in terms of the daily chart. Now, if we take a look at the 30-minute trend chart, you can see here, uh, this is going back to uh, March. And April this year, we, we sold off. These red bars indicate it's the 30-minute regular trading hours of bonds. Prices stalled out, started to go neutral, went neutral again, and then it went green, meaning it's in a short-term momentum uptrend. Lime green areas indicate levels where the market is oversold and usually buyers are stepping in. We had another one, it's hard to see, another oversold level here, and bonds continue to move up. So bonds, I think, are an opportunity uh, going forward here, where we could see a fairly substantial run. If the US stock market starts to struggle and, and chatter and pull back, money might actually flow back into bonds and we see a rebound uh, in the price of TLT. Anyways, I'm Chris Vermeulen from the technicaltraders.com, and that's your trader tip.